Welcome. This is a brand new installation of Anvil 9 and what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to go through the process of creating a sensor um, on this system. Snort sensor. Snort's already installed on this CentOS uh, 7 box and we're going to go ahead and set up the sensor management tools, create the sensor in the console and get that communicating and working. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that right now. So first thing we're going to do is uh, inside the Anvil console, we're going to go ahead and create a sensor. We'll do that on the left-hand side by going down to Configuration, then heading over to uh, Sensors, Snort and Suricata. And we're going to go ahead and select the New button over here on the left, which will create a sensor with default properties. On the right-hand side, we're going to go ahead and select Enabled. We'll just call it uh, Primary Snort for now. That's fine. Uh, engine, define it as Snort. And for the SMT ID, we're going to just give it a unique number. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and give it 1001, make things simple, and we hit update. All right, so that sensor is good to go. So we'll kick back over to the uh, shell here. Let me go ahead and explain a little bit about the sensor management tools, and we refer to those as the SMTs. The SMTs are what's responsible for the communication between the Anvil console and any local or remote sensors, and that's for both Snort and Suricata. Um, it's the set of tools that are executed that transfer signatures, events, memory, disk space, uh, heartbeats, just so that we know whether sensors are alive, um, etc. So in order to do that, um, to install these, what we're going to go ahead and do is let's go ahead and create a directory um, off of the root called SMT. Now the sensor management tools we actually keep here in the var SMT directory of the Anvil installation. There's two files, one's a binary, and one is a config file. So let's go ahead and copy both of those over there to that newly created directory in the root. Then let's change directories over there. Um, let's go ahead and open up that SMT config. And there's only two parameters really that we're concerned about. One is the server URL, which is the location of the Anvil console in relation to this set of SMTs, which in this case, localhost is correct. And they do communicate over port 80 or 443. Um, the, S, the next option is the uh, SMT IDs, and, uh, or the SMT ID, I should say. And it is, in this case, 1001, which earlier, um, when we created the sensor, we gave it an SMT ID of 1001 as well. Those just need to match. They can be whatever, whatever you'd like. Yep, from here, let's go ahead and execute these. So in order to execute the SMTs, we're just going to run PHP SMT, and we're going to run Anvil SMT Run. And what this is going to do is this is going to run. It's going to show us if there's any errors or problems um, or if it is, in fact, successful. So as you can see here, everything looks like it's successful, and it actually is in the processing loop at the bottom. So um, it does self-test, and then it loops to look for events on the console or on the sensor to send to the console. So Control-C, and uh, that'll let it know that we want to break out of the loop. And it should finish maybe a couple more loops and then exit. Okay, so from here we're going to go ahead and we're just going to run nearly the same command. We're going to go ahead and instead of run, we're going to say start. So it's php smt anvil colon smt colon start. And that's going to launch those uh, sensor management tools in the background so they're continually running. All right, from here we're going to jump back to our anvil console. Refresh this page here. And if we want to go ahead and see the communication that's kind of happening with this particular sensor, we can come over here to diagnostics and we can hit help and it'll let us know that that sensor is communicating. Uh, the version of the SMTs will automatically update. So if you update the Anvil console, the sensor management tools will detect that discrepancy in version and they'll update themselves from the console. But if we refresh this page, um, the sensor management tools uh, will actually be reaching out and, and communicating. From here, we're going to go ahead and head over to back to the sensor, to Snort Suricata here, and we're going to go ahead and select options. And the options are the settings that we're going to go ahead and set up for this particular sensor. So unified to uh, path is var log snort, that's correct. Configuration file looks good. The class map file is correct. Gen message map and SID message map are appropriate. The rule file path is etc snort rules. And uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is the one where they're interested in is these engine start and stop commands. So on this particular uh, CentOS install that was performed uh, with our CentOSP script, um, we use systemctl, like systemd. 
So system CTL uh, start snort is going to go ahead and start our snort instance. Um, stopping snort is going to be as easy as a stop. Uh, reload command, we're not going to really worry about that, or the uh, status command. So let's go ahead and update that, and then let's head back to our sensor here. All right, now that we have the sensor uh, configured and we are ready to go, let's go ahead and issue it some commands. So we're going to head over here to the Manage tab, and one of the first things that we want to go ahead and do with this particular sensor is we, let's go ahead and tell it to get the rules. So we need to synchronize the rules from that sensor to the console. So we're going to issue a command here. See down here in this lower table, the get engine rules uh, message appeared. And we can wait. And uh, we'll see that that message will get picked up by the sensor management tools. And there it is. So it was received. Once it's received on the sensor, um, it begins to process. So it, it's going to actually batch up those signatures and then send those signatures to the Anvil console where the Anvil console is actually going to ingest those signatures uh, into uh, the system here. So what we're going to do is, uh, in order to, to look at those signatures, we're going to head over here to Policies. Okay, and here we are on the Policies page. We're going to go ahead and select a new policy, or to correct, create a new policy. And from here, we can go ahead and select Signatures. This will bring up our actual signature management display. Under signature management, on the left-hand side, you have the categories, or the class names, uh, that are available. And by selecting any one of these, on the right-hand side, it's going to go ahead and give us that listing of the signature ID, the signature name, and whether or not that's uh, disabled or enabled. Uh, we can click the details uh, button here on the left. It'll show us the actual signature, it allows us to edit it, delete it, things of that nature. Uh, as far as enabling the signature, hit that enabled or disabled button and toggle it. You can also scroll down here to the very bottom uh, where we can say enable all or disable all. So you can come through here. Um, we can search for categories. We can search for signatures. If we come back over here, um, we do something like search for the word fire or Firefox. And then if we wanted to, we could come down here and say enable all and that's actually enabled in real time in that policy. Now, uh, right now we don't have any sensors assigned to this policy. So this policy is basically, um, he's, he's orphaned. So now that we have this policy, we're going to go back to sensors, snort suricata. We're going to go ahead and make sure that sensor is highlighted. And we're going to tell it that we want to use that policy. As you can see right here, it's updated. Go back to general, policies. Now we're looking at this particular policy. You can see here that it shows that there is one sensor associated with that policy. If we wanted to push out this policy right now with only 460 uh, signatures enabled out of the total 400 or 46,214, we would click this little button right here. Click that. Upper right here, it shows that the message was issued. We can come back here to sensors, snort suricata click on manage and what will happen here is right now in the background anvil is building a set of rules for that sensor and it would be for each set of sensors and as you can see down here at the bottom it uh, did receive the message for sending the engine rules so it's retrieving them and then we also issued it two commands automatically on our own uh, and that was to stop the engine and start the engine and uh, we'll be able to see that here shortly as those messages are picked up from the console. Okay, as you can see, the engine stop command has been picked up. It'll shut down snort, and then it will actually reach out and pick up this next message here, and that's going to be to go ahead and start snort. And if you had a dozen sensors, um, all using that particular policy. This would all be happening sim uh, simultaneously. Um, when you issued that command to update sensors, they would all receive their unique messages and, uh, and perform the same operations. So the Snort Engine is going to go ahead and restart utilizing those new signatures uh, that we went ahead and submitted. Now what we're going to do is uh, to kind of show the console 
uh, that it has some events. We're going to go ahead and head over here to Diagnostics, Generate Events, and these are just test events. We'll go ahead and hit Submit, let it generate some events. So this, uh, this particular install that I'm demoing on is uh, just a local host, and so there really isn't any network traffic for Snort to detect. So I generated some test events here for you to go ahead and see that this is actually what the Anvil console uh, would begin to look like. It would actually fill in with some geolocation information um, showing you actually what countries, um, what risk levels, and things of that nature. All right, well, stay tuned as we do uh, more demos and uh, more previews, as well as uh, some help and a little bit of video documentation for the new version of Anvil 9.